Hey guys, Dean from Dean's Garage here. Today I'm going to show you how to install a remote start system on a 2009 Dodge Ram. This installation is actually good for 09 to 2012 trucks. Now this is everything you're going to get in the kit. You've got some optional wiring harnesses here. Uh, for some additional things, uh, it's not required for the installation, but if you want uh, your horn to beep and your parking lights to flash, and you also want safety of making sure that your hood's not opened up during the, uh, the start sequence, you've got this hood pin sensor that you can install as well. So this is your main T-harness. This is going to go in line with your ignition wire. And then here's the actual control module that's going to be taking care of the additional programming required to get the remote start system to work. So we're going to toss this thing in. Shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. First thing we want to do, we want to just hop underneath the steering column and we want to remove just a couple of Phillips screws that are just under here down by your gas pedal. Pull that out of the way. And that just gives you easier access to this guy right here. And you literally just squeeze up on this connector right here. You just squeeze that piece. And that just disconnects that and you pull it out. And then that's where our T harness is going to plug in. So I just grab our T harness here. And this is just going to plug in to this connector right here. So see, you've got the T-harness. I've got this plug labeled VS1. That's just going to plug into that, like that. So that goes into there. And then the other part of the T-harness is just going to plug back into your connection right up here. Just like that. Now... T harness is plugged in. Then we're going to plug this into the control module. Now the instructions say to plug the black connector in first, then the blue connector. And when you're uninstalling it, you want to disconnect the blue connector first, then the black connector. Now I'm not entirely sure how important that is. I'm not sure what would happen if you didn't do that. Uh, but regardless, I'm going to follow the instructions just so I don't potentially screw anything up. So we just got our module here, and these uh, connections only fit into one spot in the module, so you don't have to worry about getting them in the wrong area. Now it's going to be a little bit difficult to do with one hand, so I'll kind of try and prop my camera up here. So black connector first, then our blue connector. Well, you can see here we've actually already got a light on, so maybe that's why it's important. So now, blue connector's plugged in, light's flashing here, as you can see, so it's doing something already. So now we're going to go to the programming phase, get this thing programmed up to our key, see if we can get this started with our remote. Okay, so the instructions state to close the driver's door, then open it. And we should be in standby mode. And then we insert the key into the ignition. And we turn the vehicle to the on position. And we'll wait for the module to flash green. So it's flashing green. Then we turn the key to the off position, remove the key, and press the unlock button. And then we should get a solid green and then our key is now programmed. Now that was solid green for a second there. I didn't catch it on video, but that did go solid green. So let's see if uh, hitting our lock button three times turns this on. 
Maybe the door needs to be shut. I just tried turning the vehicle on again a couple more times with the remote. And what's important is just getting the timing down correctly with the remote. You don't want to hit the lock button three times too fast or too slow. Otherwise, the truck won't start. So I'll show you here. I'll start the truck up with the proper timing of the remote. Basically, just every half second, hit the lock button so you get three consecutive beeps. And then the truck will start up after about a two second delay, give or take. So I'll just show you that here. All right, so to start the truck, just hit the lock button three times, about half second delay between each uh, hit. So we'll just do that here. One, two, three. And then it takes a second here to enter the start mode. It starts up. And then you just hit it three times again if you want to shut the truck off. So one, two, three. And the truck shuts off. So I lied about taking about 15 minutes. This actually took about two minutes to do the installation. And I was with doing this video as well for you guys to uh, see how this all gets installed. So I don't have it all buttoned back up here. I just gotta put the two screws back in, button that up, and then I gotta zip tie this control module under the dash somewhere. And also another important thing is the takeover mode. So you just come up to your truck, it'll be locked. So you're just gonna hit your unlock button and you're gonna hop into the truck. And then what you wanna do, you wanna put your key into the ignition, obviously this will look a bit different when your panel's back into place. But anyways, you're gonna put the key into the ignition. You're going to turn it to the on mode. So first click is accessory, second click is on. It'll show on the panel once I get this panel put back on. And then all you wanna do is put your foot on your brake pedal and take your foot back off the brake pedal. And then now you've just uh, completed the takeover mode. And now put your foot on the brake pedal again and you should be able to shift down into drive and you're good to go. I'll put a link down below for the actual module I purchased. It was about 86 bucks US off eBay and you just have to send this particular seller your information uh, about your vehicle information. So I believe it was just the year, the make of the truck, the model, uh, the size of engine, whether it was an auto automatic or a stick. And I believe there was two options for push start or a key start. So I had a key start, so I just let them know uh, those four or five pieces of information. You'll see that all in the, uh, the eBay ad, what he needs to program it. And once you send that, I think it took uh, like five days, if that, and it was ready for me to pick up at my parcel pickup location. And as you just saw here in this video, it took about five minutes to install the module and program it and I can now remote start my truck, which is awesome for the winners that we have up here. That's it, thanks for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications. Have a good one guys.